Hi friends, in this biodiversity quiz, you have 30 questions at three levels. First 10 questions basic level, next 10 intermediate level and the final 10 questions advanced level that will be helpful for all competitive exams in biological science. Question number one, what is biodiversity? Options are, it is a study of diversity of animals on the planet. Option B, the number of different types of populations in a region. Option C, the variety of species, genes and ecosystems on Earth. Option D, the number of different types of species in a region. You have 10 seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is, it is a variety of species, genes and ecosystems on Earth. Question number 2, which of the following is an example of a threatened species? Option A, an animal that is extinct. Option B, an animal whose population is declining and is at the risk of extinction. Option C, a plant that grows quickly and is found everywhere. Option D, an animal whose population is declining drastically. The correct answer is, a threatened species is an animal whose population is declining and is at the risk of extinction. Question number three, the loss of biodiversity means option A, habitat destruction, option B, extinction, option C, loss of genetic variation, option D, all of these. The correct answer is all of these. Question number four, what is a hot spot of biodiversity? Option A, place with very high temperatures. Option B, an area with a large number of endemic species that are under threat. Option C, a popular tourist destination with rich biodiversity. Option D, a very high temperature region with many endemic species under threat. The correct answer is, Hotspot is an area with a large number of endemic species that are under threat. Question number five. What is the main cause of biodiversity loss today? Option A, natural disasters like earthquakes and floods. Option B, habitat destruction and fragmentation. Option C, pollution and industrialization. Option D, climate change. The correct answer is habitat destruction and fragmentation. Question number six. What does endemic species mean? Option A, species that can live in many different environments. Option B, a species often present at the core zone of an ecosystem. Option C, a species that is very rare worldwide. Option D, a species that is only found in one specific geographic area. The answer is endemic species is a species that is only found in one specific geographic area. Panda is endemic to China. Kangaroo is endemic to Australia. Question number seven. Which type of diversity refers to the variety of genes within a species? Option A, species diversity. Option B, ecosystem diversity. Option C, genetic diversity. Option D, generic diversity. Correct answer is genetic diversity. Question number eight. Why is biodiversity important for ecosystems? Option A. It makes ecosystems stable but weak. Option B. It makes ecosystems stable and resilient. Option C. It has no effect on ecosystem health. Option D. It only benefits a few select species. The correct answer is, it makes ecosystems stable and resilient. Question number nine, what is a keystone species? Option A, species that is important to an ecosystem. Option B, a species whose removal has a disproportionately large effect on its ecosystem. Option C, a species that is a predator at the top of the food chain. Option D, a plant species that is a primary producer. The answer is a species whose removal has a dis disproportionately large effect on its ecosystem. Keystone species include tiger, elephant in grasslands, etc.
Question number 10. What is conservation biology? Option A. The scientific study of climate change and its impact on biodiversity conservation. Option B. The scientific study of conservation of natural resources. Option C. The scientific study of the nature and status of its biodiversity within the aim of protecting it. Option D. The study of all ecosystems. The correct answer is conservation biology is the scientific study of the nature and status of its biodiversity with the aim of protecting it. Question number 11. The sixth mass extinction is primarily driven by which factor? Option A. Asteroid impact and pollution. Option B. Climate change and invasive species. Option C. Human activities. Option D. Natural geological processes. The answer is human activities. Question number 12. What is the difference between ex situ and in situ conservation? Option A, ex situ conservation is for plants, in situ for animals. Option B, ex situ conserves species in their natural habitat, while in situ conserves them outside their natural habitat. Option C, in situ conserves species in their natural habitat, while ex situ conserves them outside their natural habitat. Option D, ex situ is for marine species, whereas in situ is for terrestrial species. The correct answer is in situ conservation of species is within their natural habitat. That means inside the natural habitat, whereas ex situ, it is external or conserves some outside the natural habitat. Question number 13. The concept of ecosystem services means option A, the jobs created by the tourism and ecosystem based industries. Option B, the direct financial value of natural resources. Option C, the benefits that humans receive from ecosystems. Option D, the legal framework for environmental protection. The correct answer is ecosystem services means the benefits that humans receive from ecosystems. Question number 14. A biome is best described as Option A. A specific local habitat with rich biodiversity. Option B. Group of organisms interacting with each other and with their environment. Option C. A large geographic region of plants and animals characterized by the dominant plant type. Option D. A large geographic region of plants and animals characterized by the dominant predator animal. The correct answer is a large geographic region of plants and animals characterized by the dominant plant type. Question number 15. What is the term for a species introduced to a new environment that causes harm to the native species and ecosystem? Option A. Endemic species. Option B. Founder species. Option C. Pioneer species. Option D. Invasive species. The correct answer is invasive species. Question number 16. Which of the following is a primary threat to the coral reef destruction? Option A. Pollution and microplastic pollution. Option B. Climate change and ocean acidification. Option C. Coastal development. Option D. Algal blooms. The correct answer is ocean acidification caused by increased carbon dioxide absorption and climate change. Question number 17. A trophic cascade is a phenomenon where option A. Nutrients flow from the soil to the plants. Option B. The removal of top predator causes change in the population of other species at different trophic levels. Option C. Different species share the same food resource. Option D. A species adapts to a new climate. The correct answer is the removal of a top predator causes changes in the population of other species at different trophic levels. Question number 18. What is the edge effect in biodiversity? Option A. The gradual change in species composition as you move from the core of the habitat to its edge. Option B. The increase in species diversity at the center of the habitat. Option C. The complete loss of biodiversity at the edge of a habitat. Option D. The protective barrier created by a habitat's edge. 
The correct answer is the gradual change in species composition as we move from the core of a habitat to its edge. Question number 19. The Millennium Ecosystem Assessment MEA categorized ecosystem services into which four main types? Option A. Provisioning, Supporting, Regulating and Cultural. Option B. Economic, Social, Environmental and Political. Option C. Aesthetic, Recreational, Educational and Spiritual. Option D. Food, Water, Air and Shelter. The correct answer is provisioning, supporting, regulating and cultural. Question number 20. What is a biodiversity index like the Shannon Wiener Index? Option A. Measure of total number of individuals in an ecosystem. Option B. A single number that represents the diversity of species in a community, taking into account both species richness and evenness. Option C. A way to calculate the age of a habitat. Option D. A list of all species found in a particular area. The correct answer is a single number that represents the diversity of species in a community taking into account both species richness and evenness. Question number 21. The concept of a biodiversity offset is designed to achieve what? Option A. To create new habitats without any environmental impact. Option B. To compensate for unavoidable biodiversity loss by achieving measurable conservation outcomes elsewhere. Option C. To prevent all human development if it disturbs ecosystem. Option D, to find companies that damage the environment. The correct answer is biodiversity offset is to compensate for unavoidable biodiversity loss by achieving measurable conservation outcomes elsewhere. Question number 22. Which principle states that the genetic diversity of a species is higher near the equator and decreases towards the poles? Option A. The latitudinal biodiversity gradient. Option B. The island biogeography theory. Option C. The longitudinal biodiversity gradient. Option D. The principle of competitive exclusion. The correct answer is the latitudinal biodiversity gradient. Question number 23. The Ali effect is a phenomenon where option A, a species growth rate increases with a decrease in population density. Option B, individuals of a species cooperate at low population densities leading to a positive correlation between population size and growth rate. Option C, competition between species leads to exclusion of one. Option D, population growth is limited by a single resource. The correct answer is individuals of a species cooperate at low population densities leading to a positive correlation between population size and growth rate. Question number 24. What is bioprospecting? Option A. The illegal harvesting of endangered species. Option B. The exploration of natural resources for commercially valuable compounds, genes or products. Option C. The legal harvesting of endangered species for commercial use. Option D. The process of reintroducing a species into the wild. The correct answer is the exploration of natural resources for commercially valuable compounds, genes and products. Question number 25. An independent intergovernmental body established in 2012 to provide policy makers with objective evidence-based scientific assessments on the global and regional biodiversity ecosystems and their vital services to people is Option A, MAB Option B, IPCC Option C, UNSC Option D, IPPES The correct answer is IPBES Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services. Question number 26. What is cryptic speciation? Option A. The process of a species going extinct without being discovered. Option B. The existence of two or more species that are morphologically identical but reproductively isolated and genetically distinct. Option C. The formation of a new species through hybridization. Option D. The sudden appearance of a new species in the fossil record.
The correct answer is cryptic species is the existence of two or more species that are morphologically identical but reproductively isolated and genetically distinct. Question number 27. The concept of niche partitioning helps to explain how species can live in same area without direct competition. Option B. A single species can occupy multiple habitats. Option C. A keystone species controls an ecosystem. Option D. An invasive species outcompetes a native one. The correct answer is, species can live in the same area without direct competition. Question number 28. What is the primary focus of the CBD or Convention on Biological Diversity? Option A, to establish global parks and wildlife sanctuaries for biodiversity protection. Option B, the conservation of biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from genetic resources. Option C, the conservation of endangered species and its international trade regulations. Option D, to conserve fund scientific research on new species and conservation of endangered species. The answer is the conservation of biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from genetic resources. Question number 29. The insurance hypothesis of biodiversity such as that. Option A. That ecosystem with higher biodiversity are more resilient and stable against environmental changes. Option B. The insuring species against extinction is a cost-effective conservation strategy. Option C. That biodiversity is directly proportional to economic growth. Option D. That species diversity is a random occurrence stabilized by environment. The correct answer is, insurance hypothesis states that the ecosystem with higher biodiversity are more resilient and stable against environmental changes. And the final question, what is metapopulation dynamics? Option A, the study of population growth in a single isolated habitat. Option B, the study of how a group of specially separated populations of the same species interact with individuals moving among them. Option C, the study of relationship between a predator and its prey population. Option D, the study of how different populations of the same species interact within an ecosystem. The answer is, metapopulation dynamics is a study of how a group of spatially separated populations of the same species interact with individuals moving among them. Hope you are benefited from this quiz. We have given many videos on environmental science. You can watch that for more. Comment your score below. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.